Hello Oracle Database fans, this is Justin and in this Oracle Database YouTube video tutorial I am going to show you how to create and use a proxy user, that's P-R-O-X-Y, a proxy user in an Oracle Database. Okay, on this uh, Lenovo laptop running Microsoft Windows uh, for 7 operating system we have an 11.2 Oracle Database running named Finance. So we're going to set our Oracle SID variable to finance. We're going to ensure it's set properly by doing an echo percent sign oracle underscore SID percent sign set to finance and we're going to connect we're going to connect to the finance database via the SQL plus program. SQL plus SQL plus space slash space as space sys dba. Okay we're connected to our oracle database. We do a show user to ensure we're connected as the sys dba user which we are and we type in select name from v dollar sign database to ensure that we're connected to the finance database which we are now there's already a user in this database created called Justin and if we say select column username from the data dictionary view dba underscore users where column username has the value of Justin we get that returned to us. Okay, now we're going to create a user named Bob Bill. Bill's going to be our proxy user. Okay, and uh, we create we create this user with the following command: create user Bill identified by Bill one two three semicolon. Basically, what we're saying here is we want to create the Oracle database user Bill. And we want to assign Bill the initial password of Bill123. So create user Bill identified by one Bill123, this password. User created. Now what we want to do is we want to grant Bill the, the ability to create sessions, to establish a connection with an Oracle database. This is done via an Oracle sys, a predefined Oracle system privilege known as create session. And we grant that to Bill with the following command. Grant create session to Bill. Grant create session to Bill. Okay, so now Bill is able to log into the Oracle database. Okay, now just logging into an Oracle database with these two users is going to be just like any, just, just it's going to be pretty fundamental, right? So we launch the SQL plus program it's asking us for a username we type in Justin we type in the password which is my fiance fiance's name Minka okay we do a show user and we see we successfully connected to the Oracle database via SQL plus via the user Justin okay and we can do the same thing um, enter username Bill and we type in this is the user we just created and we type in the password that we identified build with which is bill123 okay we do a show user at the SQL prompt and we see we're connected as user bill so we log in as user Justin and verified no 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 surprises there we log in as user bill verified no it no surprises there now the reason why I'm showing you this is you'll find out in a second so we're gonna connect again with uh, DBA privileges sysdba and this time what we're going to do is we're going to alter the user we just created Ju well actually we're going to alter the user Justin okay and we're going to and we're going to grant Justin a special privilege okay and this is what you do you type in alter user Justin grant connect through bill now this is a special privilege and what it's saying is user Justin will be you can, that user Bill will be able to connect to the Oracle database as Justin. Think of this as sudo in the Unix or Linux world, where if you're granted root sudo access, you as a regular user can get in, can log in as root with your password. Okay, and uh, this is similar to that. Okay, so alter user Justin. Remember, this is the user who you want to grant um, authority to. Uh, who you want to, who you want to ultimately log in as so it's alter user Justin who you want to ultimately log in as 
Um, grant connect through bill. User altered. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we get here. Now, we're going to connect now to the Oracle database using a weird looking connect string, but bear with me. SQL plus space. I mean, SQL plus enter. Now it's asking us for a username. Now, if we type in Bill and Bill123 show user, we see we're connected to this Bill, nothing special. However, with this special privilege that we granted up here, if we go SQL plus and enter username and we type in Bill open bracket Justin close bracket like so enter and I know that that looks weird but it's valid and the username we type in Bill's password not Justin's password Bill's password which is B I L L 123 trust me that's what I'm typing in okay and we get our prompt but it may surprise you now that when we type in show user we see we're connected to Justin not Bill Justin because when we said Bill and then in brackets we put Justin, we're telling the Oracle database that we want to ultimately end up connected as user Justin, but we want to use Bill as a proxy to go through it. Okay? That's basically, we want to go through user Bill to get in as Justin. That's basically what we're saying. And we have access to all of Justin's database objects, and, we're based, and, and we are connected to the Justin schema as if we just logged in directly as user Justin. What you can do is you can type in the following to prove that that you're a proxy user. Okay, you can type in select sys underscore context open parens single quote capital user env single quote comma single quote proxy underscore user single quote close paren right paren from dual. Okay, so select sys underscore context, open paren, single quote, quote, user env, single quote, comma, single quote, proxy underscore user, single quote, close paren from dual. And we see Bill. We see that even though we're connected as user Justin, when we do a show user, we're, we're, we're connected through proxy user Bill. That's what that's showing us. And if we just connect to Justin the regular way, Justin, Minka for the password, and we do show user, we're obviously Justin, and we execute that select syst context again, it comes back as nothing um, when, it, when up here it came back as Bill. Because in this session we just logged in as Justin. We didn't use a proxy, i.e. Bill or anything. We just came right in. So this doesn't, so the proxy user doesn't exist. Okay, and again, if you try to log in with, if you log in with Bill the, the usual way, Bill, Bill123, and do a show user, you are Bill. So, once again, and this is another way to connect an Oracle. Oops. We say SQL plus Bill, the username, and then in brackets, Justin, the user we want to ultimately log in as, with password bill123, we will see that we've connected to schema Justin. We logged into Oracle Database's user Justin, okay, without knowing Justin's password, okay, just knowing Bill's password. This is like the pseudo of the Oracle world, okay? And if we open up another window here, another DOS window to my OS, we set Oracle SID to finance, and we connect via SQL plus as sysdba, Okay, and we do a select distinct open paren username close paren from the dollar sign session. We will see that user Justin is logged on, even though we connected through Bill and submitted Bill's password to log into this database. It doesn't matter. Oracle will just see that Justin is logged on. Now, if we created another user, Bob and identified by Bob123 and we did a grant create session to Bob123 so we have a new user called Bob123 oops sorry grant create session to Bob 
And if we come down here and try to and try the same thing, if we come down here and we say SQL plus Bob um, brackets Justin Bob one two three Bob's password, okay, we're going to get or message Aura two eight one five zero proxy not authorized to connect as client, okay. So you need you need we we would need to grant Bob proxy access to Justin in order to do this. Now, where does this come in handy? Well, you can come up with a lot of with a lot of scenarios where a proxy user would come up would come in handy. But off the top of my head, what I could think is this is really useful if you if depending on how your 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 application and your schema is designed that's using this Oracle database. If you have one schema, one user created that's the app owner in the Oracle database, and he owns all these objects, all these tables, these views, and everything else, okay, and you want different users to be logged on, and you, and you want them to see the same objects, but you don't want to create a user in a database for each one. You want the application to handle that. What you could do is you could fix the connect string in the, in the let's say it's a Java app. You could fix the connect string in the JDBC driver code or whatever you're using to, to use to connect your application to Oracle and you can create these proxy users so that all the so you can have hundreds and hundreds of application users if you want however they're, they're ultimately connecting as one database user uh, by the time by the time the date that they hit Oracle okay and then you could use a uh, virtual private database and other techniques to further um, to further uh, protect your your the data in your tables and whatnot. Okay, so that's just one of many uh, examples. Okay, that's how you use proxy users. Thank you.